this is a little something I got off of eBay. It is a uh, a valved cutoff because I think what is happening with the TT here is um I mean I have the same turbo same like intercooler setup everything is the same on the TT compared to the GTI but for some reason on the TT this the turbo seems to be struggling to put out like the same amount of boost it's like kind of topping off around like 31 32 psi which is good for the turbo the m500 is awesome but this car only has a two and a half inch um pipe going to the exhaust the down pipes two and three quarters which is decent the gti had the GTI had a three quarter or a three inch downpipe, but we are what we are going to do with this is it's going to be welded on onto the downpipe before it gets turned into the two and a half inch piping. So it'll go on like this, and there should be a little valve thing in here. Oh, here it is. And this is a guy. I just found on eBay, he has all sorts of cool exhaust parts and, um, but yeah, see, this is gonna weld onto there and I will have a switch inside the cabin, right here, that I'll be able to open and close the valve. And what is that? That's gonna allow the turbo to breathe so much easier, just exiting right up to the side. It still will exit, out the main exhaust as well, but this is definitely gonna be far less resistance for the turbo and will help with flow and escape of all that um, exhaust gas. And hopefully we will see more boost. So I'm dropping off the car tonight because I'm not gonna be able to do it. I need my mechanic to weld it on for me. And I guess the next clip you're gonna see is it with the welded on. and. We'll show some boost clips maybe. Maybe we'll see some improvements after tuning. And of course we're gonna listen to how it sounds. So here's how it sits in here. Mm -hmm. It actually was a really tight fit with this motor. We were lucky if it, we might, if I would have buy it again, I would get the design where it comes out to the side more. And also he thinks we need to get a downpipe here just because this is gonna be hitting right here on the side, but this is all heat shielded, so that's probably okay. But yeah, it's just clamped on. We didn't even have to weld it. He said it slipped right over the stock size. So guys, here's my little switch. That's closed, that's open. And look, if you, when the car's off, it's still hooked up to power, so when I put you down here, You can hear it open and close. So let's go ahead, close it all the way. Start the car. There's normal idle. I wonder if you guys can hear it good, but now I'm gonna open the button. And yeah, that is a lot louder. Let's go ahead and close it. Give it some revs. And let's open it and do the same thing. did a few pulls with the valve open and holy crap it's like so freaking loud in the cabin it's it like vibrates quite a bit 
it's definitely not something I'm only gonna have it open when I'm like at the track or like trying to do like uh, some draggy times but uh, yeah let's I'm about to pull on to my little uh, Mexico about to pull on to my little Mexico Street here and let's go ahead and do some pulls for you guys let's go ahead and open the valve here and holy crap it's freaking loud <laughs> to pick up on camera but with with the dump pipe open it is way 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 louder like i'm never gonna have that open just like driving around regular use um the only thing i'm gonna change is i'm gonna add that dump pipe that has like that little bit of curve to it just so it's not pointing like at the car so much because it it really vibrates the car but other than that i'm ha i'm happy with it and um, I think it's really going to help with um, the exhaust flow and we'll do some logs and hopefully we see some difference there with uh, the turbo making boosts. It should, it should lower boost speed a little. So thanks for watching guys.